Yo, welcome to IntelliBit, everybody. My name is Joey, Two Fly Perez. Uh, good morning. Today we are doing a news brief. We're gonna start doing these on Sunday mornings. Sunday mornings. Stay tuned. We're gonna go over the news. So, welcome to the channel, everybody. Let's listen to a little bit of music while we get things going, and we start talking about what's really good in the world. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, so. I appreciate all of you guys who have subscribed and if you haven't subscribed and you really like getting some gaming news make sure you like the video like it click the like button on YouTube turn the bell notification to all you want to get all the updates from us guys and um, we're gonna start talking on Sundays about what's going on in the gaming world so first and foremost let's go ahead and pull up Let's go ahead and pull up the news, guys. And we're going to start doing this in a little different way. It's not going to be your normal transitions. If you guys can start waking up, we'll do it live. So if you guys want to do live news where I can read your comments and everything while we go over the news and discuss what we're talking about, I'm down for that too. I need some feedback on that though. So we're going to have the dis oops, we're going to have the display of the news behind me right here on the IntelliBit prompt cam, okay? So let's check it out. We're going to jump into Polygon, guys, okay? So Polygon's telling us right now that The Mandalorian Season 2 proves that Star Wars really can support lots of new shows. So, uh, as you guys know, The Mandalorian is super successful. It's an awesome show, guys. If you haven't watched The Mandalorian, you need to get off your ass and watch the show it's probably the best show on TV right now it's a sci-fi sci-fi is the bomb.com it takes you out of this world it opens up your mind and it lets you know about the possibilities of other realities and universes that takes you away from the daily drama I mean shoot with COVID and everything going on right now you might as well enjoy a sci-fi okay um, I'm only gonna go over some of the stuff that I think is is, is relevant so basically what what they're saying is they believe that you know because this is so successful there could be other spin-offs you know like I heard there's Obi-Wan coming out um there could be a Boba Fett show who knows uh spoiler alert Boba Fett's in the new Mandalorian shows and he's awesome but I'm not gonna say more than that not gonna say more than that and I haven't spoiled too much because the show's already out all right so uh, in the news, there's a spin-off from Sabrina the Teenage Witch with the, with the two aunts from the show. So if you're cool with that. And now, here's a big one, guys. DC Comics debuts the next Batman. And if you, as you can see here, he looks like he's an African-American, which is totally cool. We're going to click on it, and we're going to read a little bit on, on this story because I think it's a really cool story. Okay? So DC Comics debuts the next Batman. DC's future state batman is the son of billionaire ceo okay the news was, re was revealed alongside a new variant cover for future state the next batman number two but could you say it's been teased since august so here it goes okay here you guys can see some of the comic books where it happened which uh it's gonna be it's going to be a whole new uh, play on it. I think what they're saying is uh, it's going to be Batman's son. So it's going to be pretty cool. But look at the artwork right there, guys. Isn't that legit? And look at his cool helmet and everything. It's a little bit different, you know. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. I think it's something new. I'm not the biggest Batman fan, and I know you guys are going to be throwing tomatoes at me or whatever. Don't get me wrong, I like Batman, but it's like I feel like over and over they're telling the same story. Over and over and over. So Gotham's Defender in his dystopian future is revealed as Tim Jace Fox. Estranged son of Lucius Fox and brother to the former Batwing Luke Fox. Okay, so he's not... Batman's son but he's part of the Bat family so that's pretty cool so we're gonna back out of that that's pretty cool news it's something to look forward for to in the world of comic books guys I think it's pretty neat so also guys um, the Easter eggs and of Loki and you know uh, Winter Soldier everybody's kind of deciphered all of the 
all of the small little uh, trailers. So if, if you guys go to polygon.com, you can read these stories. But so Marvel has a lot. I mean, Marvel has a lot coming out on Disney Plus this coming year, guys. So that's going to be pretty cool. If you like to nerd out man, and you're into comic books, it's going to be a good year. Um, you know, I mean, HBO Max is getting all of the Warner Brothers and DC stuff, too. So that's pretty cool. Cyberpunk 2077 Beginner's Guide right here live on Polygon. If you guys are into Cyberpunk, let's talk a little bit about that game. It looks next gen. Um, I've seen it. We have it here at the house. I haven't gotten into playing it, but it's quite gorgeous. There's a lot of controversy going on right now with Cyberpunk, guys. If you guys have already got uh, Cyberpunk uh, and you guys know there's a glitch, you know, it's it's it, it shows a manscape. You know what I mean? I'm going to say it. It shows some manscape. It's a glitch, um, and a lot of people are upset, and people are throwing their arms and being upset about it, but, you know, it's a mess up, it's getting fixed, don't let it keep you from the game, also, they don't owe you any money, it's, it's a rated TVMA game, and if you're upset that your children have seen it, you shouldn't be buying this game for your children if it says TVMA, because it does show other things too, so let's move on from that, I'm telling everybody to enjoy the game enjoy Keanu Reeves enjoy it it's it's an awesome game okay so next week guys Xbox Game Pass is getting Skyrim Skyrim and Yakuza it's coming in January so we have an Xbox Series 1 I mean an Xbox Series X here at the house and I got to play with it a little while before I gave it to my son and dude Game Pass is sicker than freaking lupus you guys need to get game pass if you haven't gotten game pass and you have an xbox series x you are cuckoo kachoo that's what my girl always says anyway uh it's awesome man it almost makes me want my own xbox series x just because the games on it are all high-end games i mean there's some smaller uh titles on there but it's so awesome like xbox series x is a really great console guys i love ps5 as you guys know I got my PS5, we secured the bag, but um, I don't swear my allegiance to any system, I swear my allegiance to video games, and so actually if I had to swear my allegiance to anything, I would swear it to this guy, boom, right here Nintendo Switch, but let's get back to the news guys, let's get back to the news, um, Fortnite guys, Fortnite has uh, Mandalorian and some other uh, DC comics coming to it, there's a lot of new skins coming to Fortnite, so if you've been away from Fortnite for a long time, you guys want to jump back in. Fortnite has some really great content coming. Uh, as you guys saw at the Game Awards, guys, there's going to be a new Mass Effect. Um, so it's going to take place right after the third game. I don't know if that means they're getting rid of Andromeda and they're trying to move it away like Dragon Ball did GT, which I enjoyed GT, but whatever. Um, but a new Mass Effect game is coming, and Mass Effect was a really cool game when it was around. League of Legends single player spin-off has a new game trailer guys again you can see this at polygon.com so if you're a big Le League of Legends plan there's a new spin-off game coming out of League of Legends so that game has gotten so big the characters have gotten so popular that they're going to do a spin-off Fortnite guys Fortnite gets Master Chief what what can you guys imagine guys be playing on your PS5 all happy Getting killed by Master Chief. Oh, it hurts for all of you guys who draw lines in the sand. Among Us is getting a new map called the Airship, guys. So if you guys are big Among Us fans, you're going to want to go to the Airship um, pretty soon here. So that's going to be pretty cool. Um, I, I like Among Us. I think it's pretty cool. So Ghosts and Goblins, guys. Uh, when I was growing up, Ghosts and Goblins was a cool uh, platformer game. Really difficult. Uh, Capcom is making a new Ghost and Goblins. I saw the trailers. Uh, I was watching it on RGT85, and I loved the old Ghost and Goblins. I think they went a little more animated this time, and I'm not. To me, sometimes I feel like the the quick animation uh, gameplay is just like, then don't make the game. You know, like if you're not gonna put the effort into the art style and making it like it was, don't make the game. Like, I don't know. It's like I'm upset about it, as you guys can hear, see. Arc 2 has Vin Diesel killing dinosaurs. So if you guys are big Arc players, uh, Vin Diesel's coming to the game, and he's gonna be killing dinosaurs, and he looks pretty cool, guys. Okay, the new game, the new co-op 
from the way out team lets multiplayer pals play free I've never even heard of that we're gonna pass that uh, we're gonna go back over here to um, the PS5 it's a hard-working beefcake guys uh, be careful guys with your PlayStation 5s make sure if you did get the first gen if you can go pick up yourselves uh, uh extended warranty do it it's the first model out you don't want to make up uh with anything xbox series x boring is better the form factor is really really nice guys i don't know about better but it's simple we're gonna keep moving down the line here and that's it from polygon so let's hit up the verge guys let's see what other news is going on there um spider-man miles Rela miles morales is running at 60 frames per second with ray tracing in new mode so there's been an update um for a lot of people who are crying about next gen not being what they said it is they've updated the game it does look beautiful 60 frames per second with ray tracing so that means uh, it's gonna look like ah, what i can't believe my eyes it's so beautiful so that's cool um Big news guys, Microsoft confirms the xCloud beta is coming to iOS and PC in spring 2021. That's right around the corner. So if you guys, um, I've been saying it for years guys, these systems are great. The PS5 is great. The Series X is great. People were naysaying that Series S, it's a great system too. And the thing about it is, is once cloud gaming comes, these systems are going to be awesome to still have. But I mean, a Series S is going to be able to play the same games as these beefcakes. So, the cloud is coming, guys. The cloud is coming, and I'm saying, let it mother cussing rain, baby. All right. Let's see what else we got. They're, they're going to start putting a little more work into PUBG, guys. It's been a while. They're going to start working on PUBG again. I loved the game when it came out, but as these newer systems came out, the newer games came out, it started getting clunky. And then they focused so much on mobile gaming, but they're going to start working on PUBG again. So if you're a big PUBG fan, that's awesome. The PS5 and Xbox Series X made us fall back in love with old games. Because they're so backwards compatible, um, a lot of people are playing their older games on them. So that's pretty cool. If you have epilepsy, be careful with Cyberpunk 2077. Minecraft with RTX ray tracing launches for Windows 10. So if you guys have been waiting for uh, ray tracing on Minecraft, there you go. I know there's a lot of, there's a big Minecraft following. There's a new AMD Radeon RX 6900 XT out, guys. If you guys want a, a review on that and you're a PC gamer, come to theverge.com slash games and you can read in on that. And guys, this year, thanks to followers like you and people like you, YouTube gaming had its best year ever with more than 100 billion hours watched. That's the news coming to you guys this Sunday. Um, not a lot of it going on right now, you know. Um, but the good news is, the good news is, you're chilling with me, Joey Two Fly Pettis, and I got some more things for you, okay? So number one, I wanna thank all my last subscribers. So we're gonna give a shout out right now to some of the subs. We got Biggie Raltz. Thank you for subscribing. We got SSG. Thank you for subscribing. We got Juan Ortiz. Thank you for subscribing. The Pope of Sports and Entertainment. The Truth. Thank you for subscribing, brother. Joe T. Thank you for subscribing. Prince Faded. Thank you for subbing, brother. Carlos Tapia. Gracias for the sub, brother. We really appreciate it here on the channel. Emmanuel Rodriguez. Thank you for the sub. Um... Mr. Sahidi, thank you for the sub. And Broski, thank you for the sub. And if you haven't subbed to the channel, guys, make sure you like, subscribe, and turn those notifications on, guys. My name is Joey Two Fly Perez. We're going to be streaming later on IntelliBit Streaming today. We're going to be playing Call of Duty. That is I N T E L L Y B I T dash streaming. Um, and you can join me, Leland. Martinez, Bobby Boulders, Darth Diggs, Darion Williams, and Darren Kaufman for some gaming. And if you guys uh, want to join us, all you guys got to do is add me to your PS network. It's Joey, J O E Y, to Fly Perez. And I'll catch you guys next time, guys. Um, may you guys have a blessed rest of the day, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching the news with me. Peace out.